today I'm going to show you how to create dynamic parameter like this using color contrast where color changes according to parameter change. So what is a parameter? A parameter allows us to produce scenarios that are not available in data and create values to put into visualization. After creating parameter, end users can control the input to see the results of the parameters effect. So what are the steps to create dynamic parameter with color? I have used these five steps. Rest of the video, we are going to follow these steps. First, I need to create a line graph. I'm going to create the line graph on profit month on month of 2021. So as I'm going to select only one year, so I have to filter it. I'm dragging the shift date to filter shelf. I select year. I select 2021. Hit OK. Again, I drag shift date to column. I want to break it down into month. I click the plus sign. Quarter counts. I click the quarter plus sign. Here month comes. I don't want year and quarter in my visual, so I am taking them away from column shelf. You just drag and leave somewhere. Now I am dragging the profit to row shelf. Here I have got the line chart. I want to fit it with the white. To have a better visualization first step is done what is the second step reference line add so if I go to analytics pane here under custom there is a reference line I drag it and then I leave it to the table option right now I want to keep it as it is so I don't change anything here I just hit ok is showing the average line what is the third step we need to create parameter we need to create parameter on profitability again I go to data pane I click profit I right click from the create option I click parameter it's automatically it's named profit parameter I want to keep it I don't want floating data in floating there will be decimals I want it in integer format current value is okay it's totally fine you can leave it like this I uh, we have to keep it in range here as you can see the data starts from 0k and its end more than 30k so the minimum value I can give input is 0 and to be on the safe side I input 14,000 I click OK yes parameter has been created I want it to be in my visual so I right click on it and I click show parameter here is ready as you can see that I am changing parameter but nothing changes in this line because the profit parameter and this line is not connected we have to connect it now so this is the fourth step the connection how to establish the connection you right click on it you click on edit and you have to select where the value will come from I select it would come from the profit parameter and uh, the label would be the computation and value both so I have to click custom as I want it uh, as I want both of them if I click the arrow from here I can select the computation which is the name I click space again I click the arrow now I insert value 
I want the line to be dotted. Fill above, fill below. I don't want to change anything here. Click OK. Now the connection has been done. For the sake of visualization, I want to uh, change the format. So I right click on it, click format. The font, I would like it to have more darker color, a bit bold and a bit bigger. And as it is in 1000K format, I also want to keep it in 1000K format. So again, I go to the format from the number. I create custom number. I don't want decimal. I want, yes, I want decimal with only one place and display minute 1000k yes that looks perfect for me so you can see now it's changing but the color doesn't change i want the color has to change to do that i have to create one calculated field which is the number fifth step and we are going to use the calculated field to color control so uh, I click from the data pane there is a downward arrow I click it from there it's it says create calculated field click it uh, I can name it in as profit color control I'm gonna use if statement if some of the profit is greater than or equals to profit parameter from the suggestion box I can see it's there profit parameter then it's true else rest of it is false I keep it in inverted comma and this is the end of my formula I click apply if I drag the profit color control to color yes now it changes I want to change the color if it's true I want it to green I double click the color portion again I double click the color portion from here yes there is just the green I love it's maybe turquoise I hit OK and I want the false will be red click OK again apply yes it's changed and I want to size up a bit now we are done Yes, our color is changing with the parameter change. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, please subscribe and highly appreciate your comment, your thoughts. Thank you.